Yes, and I'll need to share my screen. Oh, no worries. I've already made you co-host. Okay, good. Okay. Um, I like to wish everybody um, a happy Library Workers Day. That's today, Tuesday. This is National Library Week. So uh, I asked the staff to wear books or library related materials. So I mean, library related attire. So I'm sort of in my Brown Daniel attire, but I wanted to wish everybody, especially the librarians, a happy Library Workers Day. Uh, I'm Glenda Alvin. I'm the interim executive director of libraries and media centers. I wear two hats. I'm also the assistant director for collection management. I'll be sharing two sources that we have here at the Brown Daniel Library. And of course, we do have a lib guide. We call those our research guides. And ours is done by Julia Husky, who is the head of cataloging, also the liaison for history, political science, geography, and Africana studies. And she has gone through and pulled um, open education sources as they're related to different academic disciplines. She's also linked it to the uh, OER site here at TSU. And she has all kinds of information and resources about open education resources that our faculty can use. One source that we have here at TSU is we have a subscription to Faculty Select, which is an OER database that is produced by EBSCO. And it contains digital rights management, DRM um, free books. It also contains books that are open education resources, ones that can be purchased and ones that are also free. The faculty member just has to go to the website and sign up. So they can type in their particular discipline. In this case, we'll go with microbiology and do a search. It has your typical EBSCO display if you are an EBSCO customer. And you'll see here where it says, request a purchase of this item from your library. And what that does is it brings up this slip and they fill in their name and their information. And when they su hit submit, it comes directly to my email. And what I do is I look to see if this is a book that needs to be purchased. And if it is, I go to the EBSCO website for ebooks and I find the book and I look to see whether or not it has um, unlimited users, which means that they can put it in their course shell and use it for multiple sections or whether it's limited. Sometimes they will only allow three concurrent users. I try to get the maximum number of users because the faculty member wants this book so they can allow the students to use the books and not have to worry about cost. Therefore, the library takes up that cost by paying for the book and whatever users we can get. This is the source that we are using. And I think this is the third year that we've had it. And we've been successful in having faculty across the disciplines use it. Sometimes our public administration people use it. And sometimes our faculty members in uh, education leadership or so forth, they will use it. And other times they would just call, you know, just send me an email and say, where can I get an open education source for my class? And I can send them this link and then they will fill out the form and send me the book to order. This is a link that cannot be shared uh, publicly. So we have to do um, contacts via each faculty member. So I asked the library liaisons each semester to send out the link to the faculty members so that we can capture the new ones to tell them that we do have this source and here's the link that you can use to order books that are open education. That is our main source for ordering books. Other than that, um, if there, like I said, if there is a book that is not um, one that we have to purchase, but it's one that's on an open education website and they need help, then the library assists them with going to that website and letting them know how they can get that book, whether they have to sign up for it or they have to fill in information and send it off to the publisher. So we do lend assistance to our faculty members in regards to um, trying to get books that are open education, whether we have to purchase them or not. And that is the end of my presentation. Thank you.
Wow. Thank you so much. You all have done such an incredible job. So many amazing resources that are out there that are really readily available for our faculty members.